once again and welcome to Fire When Ready Supply Drop Promotionally14.com. We've had some lovely stuff uh, turn up on the the Lati, so we're going to run through these brand new spanking releases that have just arrived at E14 Towers for you. So up first, we've got a new heavy unit for the uh, CIS, which is the AAT Trade Federation Battle Tank, which obviously we'll recognise from being. That whacking great tank at the Battle of Naboo in Phantom Menace. Yeah, that's right. And it's it, huge. It, it, it's, it does look quite menacing, doesn't yeah. it? Really? Yeah. Interesting design. Yes. Uh, okay, so it is 170 points without any upgrades. Uh, it has 9 hit points and a damage threshold of 6. Its defence is red surge to blank and it has a speed of 1, so it's not getting anywhere quick. 1? <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose it is. Very big, yes, <laughs> right. Uh, it's got two weapons without any upgrades, which is lateral anti personnel lasers, fixed front, range one to two, three black, surge to blank, and the MX 8 artillery laser cannon, which is range two to four, critical two, high velocity, impact one, four red, surge to blank. That's going to hurt. We need to keep out of the way and of that. 360 fire and arc as well. Three, oh, it's the turret then, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's going to work. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's it's droid power, so it's got AI. AI attack, and unless you have a face up order token, your first action must be an attack if well, that's able. That could be annoying. Uh, armor, while defending, cancel all hit results. Arsenal 2. Barrage. If you do not use Arsenal during your activation, you can perform up to two attack actions. <laughs> I've not seen anyone do that before. Because normally you can only attack once a turn. So you could just sight yourself off and. Yeah. Well, what the, the reason it's a barrage is if you're firing at the same target, you have to group your weapons together. That's right. But if you claim that as two separate attacks rather than as a barrage, rather than as a simultaneous fire group, yeah. you're doing two attacks, which means twice as much suppression. Well, yeah, 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 it's returning again, isn't it? So. Yeah. That's why it's a barrage, it's doubling Ooh, suppression. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's the benefit to it. Yeah. Uh, hover ground. You can reverse, strafe, and stand by. You are treated as a ground vehicle by other units. Uh, weak point to rear. Okay. So sort of like uh, yeah, totally understandable. Yeah. T forty seven stuff. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, we've got some upgrades. We've got, the t uh, as a pilot, the T-Series Tactical Droid, which was the droid we unboxed on the previous episode. You had three different AI That's modes right. you, you could load you him could, with. You could load him out with different you, stuff. You could yeah. give him all kinds of different intelligence upgrades, or you could just make him basically Dolph Lundgren. So the, you can also have him pilot, or one of them, rather, because it's just a, a droid, it's not a character. Um, you can have one pilot in your tank, so a T-Series Tactical Droid pilot, AAT Trade Federation Battle Tank only, you lose AI attack, you gain Field Commander. So, I mean, with the most recent upgrade to Field Commander, that means you don't have to have a commander in your army, you can issue orders from the tank. From the tank? I mean, the idea of putting him in a tank isn't such a bad idea. Yeah, no, it's a great idea. Uh, OOM, last, last game we played, we had Ava Sakura in the Republic tank. We that's right, yeah. A couple of times yeah. Here. Uh, OOM series droid pilot, so it's kind of a, a slightly more upgraded B1 battle droid. Uh, AAT Trade Federation battle tank only, you gain coordinate droid trooper. After you issued an order, you may issue an order to a friendly droid trooper unit at range 1. Uh, named character Lock Dirt, who is a knight who's from. Uh, I think they meant to have him as a recurring character, but he actually only turned up in one episode of The Clone Wars. Quite, might even be like the first episode. Yeah. It's, uh, he's a Nymordian arms dealer voiced by George Takei. Uh, oh my. Look, dude, uh, AAT Trade Federation Battle Tank only tap to use. You lose AI attack even while this card is exhausted. As a free action, until the end of your activation, each of your weapons gains suppressive. And bearing in mind what well, I just that, said double. about combining that with Barrage... We well, won't be able to move. You've got to break troops. You, you can do four suppression in a single turn. Yeah, but that's going to break some. That would break some clone troops. Clone, clone troops have run from that. Yeah. Yeah. Got any sense? High energy. Uh, okay. Uh, we've got three ammunition options. So high energy shells. Tap to use. Range two to four. Red, red, white. Critical one. While converting attack surges, change up to one surge to a critical result. Cycle. At the end of your activation, if you did not use this card, ready it. 
High velocity, while attacking, if each weapon in the attack ball has high velocity, enemy units cannot spend dodge tokens, fixed front. That's, there's some decent stuff in this, isn't there? Yes. Curious. Oh, you can have any of these three shells. They're not part of the tank. Of the, of, yeah, they're not locked to the AAT. So another vehicle that had that icon could use them, but also you've got two slots, so you could load two of these three. Uh, armor piercing shells, tap to use, range two to three, red, black, black, cycle, fixed front, impact three. That'll fuck up a tank's day. Well. Obviously, cycle means you fire it, you tap it. You can take a recover action to reload them, but if on your next turn you don't use those shells, it will automatically reload at the end of your turn. So it, it will come yeah. back up so again. You can, yeah. if you, without taking a recover action, you could fire them every other turn. Uh, bunker buster shells. <laughs> Range 1 to 2, tap to use, black 3 white, blast, cycle, fixed front, scatter. Uh, the, after you perform an attack against a small base trooper unit, you may place each defending non leader mini in cohesion. So it's just handy for being able to rearrange troops into lightsaber range. Uh, we have also two old faithful comms upgrades where it comes with a copy of Link Targeting Array and HQ Uplink. I think that's a lot in that box. It's, it's, uh, it's quite I'm, impressive. I'm, it's just. They keep finding new things. Also, I like yeah. Clone, what I like about Clone Wars that I don't think has necessarily come across so much in the Galactic Civil War, even believe, is how big some stuff is. Because that, yeah. that, that model is massive. Just look, I can just that, see. That, that is a big I can vehicle. just see the chassis from over yeah. here and unbox it. And that is, yeah. is that one piece? Yes, it seems to be. Fucking hell. It's massive. Oh, well, yeah, cut the, no, it's, yeah, no, they've just put some, they've just some screws on there. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's massive. But here's the base. It's huge. Yeah, we crumb off that. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Yeah. Uh, nice, nice extras, I think. Yeah, love yeah. it. Okay, we've got the NRN99 Persuader class tank droid, which Ian successfully spotted using one of the movies before I did. <laughs> <laughs> Battle to Sheik. Yeah. Uh, so this is a CIS vehicle, heavy unit, sorry. Uh, 145 points for one model without any upgrades. It's classed as a ground vehicle. It has 11 hit points with a damage threshold of 7 and this defence is white surge to block. It has a speed of 1. Uh, without any upgrades it has two weapons, ion cannons, range 1 to 2, red, black, white, impact 1, ion 1, fixed front. And it also has heavy repeating blasters, fixed front, range 1 to 4, red, 2 black, 2 white, critical 1. Uh, all attacks are surge to hit. That looks big. It's massive, isn't it, really? It's, it's, a, it's a spirograph, I mistake. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hey. doing these sprues in any particular order, I don't Special think. Special abilities are armour, while defending cancel hit results. Arsenal 2. Programmed, you must equip a program upgrade card. Reposition, either before or after you perform a standard move, you may perform a pivot. Transport one, open. You may transport one friendly trooper unit. Units you are transporting can spend tokens, perform actions and be attacked. Weak point one, sides. There's a lot of plastic in here. So it's a troop carrier. Nice. At a speed of one. Yeah, the base is... Around. Uh, elongated, isn't it? So, so. I didn't see it. But it's been uh, okay, so we've got a choice of three programs as mentioned on Track. the card. Hey, choice of three programs as mentioned on the card. You have to choose one of these to upgrade. They're not expensive. They're three to five points. So, look at those. Uh, attack protocols, vehicle only, you gain AI aim. Unless you have a face up order token, your first action must be in aim if able. Precise two, you, when you spend an aim token, re roll up to two additional dice. Or you can give it defence protocols. Vehicle only, you gain AI dodge. Unless you have a face up order token, your first action must be a dodge if able. Nimble, after defending, if you spent one or more dodge tokens, gain one dodge token. And outmaneuver, you can spend dodge tokens to cancel critical hit results. Or you can give it engagement protocols. Vehicle only, you gain AI attack move. Unless you have a face up order token, your first action must be an attack or a move if able. So that's handy, you've got a choice of how you're going to use it and get a button yeah, that way. That's true. Okay, you've got a choice of three shells. And 
You've only got to see, you've got to pick one of them this time, so, but it is a Well, it is a troop carrier, I suppose. The high energy shells, the armor piercing, and the bunker buster we just saw in the previous. Cool, so we get some extra cool. cards, though. Yes, and Tell me. Uh, a couple of comms upgrades as well. You get two copies of hacked comms unit. During issue order step of the command phase, after an enemy unit at range one is issued an order, you may issue an order to yourself if able. And on go onboard comms channel, vehicle only. During the issue order step of the command phase, after you are issued an order, you may issue an order to a unit you are transporting. So that can be handy. You're moving along and you can give an aim and an attack to the droids that are sat in the back. Yeah, yeah. You know it's speed one. There's the base. We, we just have this conversation off camera about yeah. how the size of a base really changes the speed. So that does get a shift on. It may, yeah. It is worthwhile getting in the transport because the droids won't move that fast. Yeah, and it's got an unlike. It's obviously serving a similar sort of purpose to the APC that the Empire has. Yes. Um, but with, uh, as we've said before, the Clone Wars one feels more like a war, it's got much higher firepower more, capability more than the yeah. tank that the Empire has. Yeah. That's, that's going to be a fun one, I think. Mm. We need to. Okay, we have the Republic Specialist expansion for the uh, Galactic Republic. So, um, a lot of dudes. There's a lot of cards here as well. It's going to mm. be a fun one. Uh, so, first, we've got a new unit card, which is Clone Commander. He is 55 points for a commander. So, this is the uh, Galactic Republic version of Officer Barry, the well known Fire Wind Ready character. <laughs> So 55 points, clone trooper 4 hit points, courage 2, defence is red surge to blank. <laughs> it's got two weapons, it's got a, as melee, advanced <laughs> combat training, two red surge to blank, so not quite as hard as your average senator. Commando DC-15 <laughs> blaster rifle, range 1 to 3, 3 black surge to blank. I don't know what he's done to have such a nice rifle compared to everyone else in the army, but... Um, I polish this every day. Uh, bolster 2, spend an action, choose up to two friendly units at range 1, each chosen unit gains a surge token. Uh, direct core clone trooper unit, during the command phase you may issue an order to a friendly core clone trooper unit at range 1 to 2, so that'll be as a free action and it's in addition to whatever's on your command card. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sharpshooter 1, while performing a ranged attack, reduces defenders cover by 1, he's a grunt but he's not a bad grunt. He sounds pretty cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. Comes with three new command cards what as well. What points is that, Grant? That's 55 points of upgrades. Yeah. Uh, it's got three new command cards. Synchronised defensive, one pip, one vehicle, Republic only. After a friendly vehicle unit is issued an order, choose a friendly clone trooper unit at range one to two of it and issue that unit an order. Two pip is air support. Uh, issue an order to one commander or heavy unit, Republic only. Once this round, at the end of the activation of a friendly commander clone trooper unit or friendly field commander unit, it may perform an attack using the following weapon. Range 4 plus, red, black, black, beam 2, immune to deflect. Right, I'm going to have to look at what beam is because it doesn't turn up very often. Anyway, for those of you who want to... beam me twice today. <laughs> Uh, a weapon for beam X keyword fires a continuous beam of energy sweeping across swaths of enemies and dealing massive damage. During the declare additional defender step of an attack, if a weapon with a beam X keyword is a unit's attack pool, your unit may declare up to X additional attacks using only the weapon with the beam X keyword. Each additional attack must be declared against a different defender but is at range one of the last defender declared. So you can hit up to two additional squads if they're within range one of each other. It's that. Um, if you need illustration, it's that lovely laser weapon that comes out the side of a latte. Oh, okay. And the three pip card is Attack of the Clones. Three clone troopers, Republic only. When a unit is issued an order using this card, it either gains one surge token or removes one suppression token. And those are all neutrals, so any Republic commander can use those. Uh, upgrades. That's really good. Clone Commander. So much like uh, Gideon Argus and Officer Barry, instead of using the Commander as a separate command unit, you can add him to a squad instead. Okay. Uh, so Clone Trooper, you add one Clone Commander mini, you gain Inspire 1. After your rally step, remove up to one suppression token from another friendly unit at range 1 to 2. And Reliable 1, at the start of your activation phase, gain one Surge token. This miniature is the leader of the squad it is attached to. 
clone medic, clone trooper only, add one clone medic mini. Free action, treat one, capacity one. Place one wound token on this card to remove one wound or poison token from, or restore one mini to, a friendly non-droid trooper at range one and in line of sight. Limit one token. Clone engineer, clone trooper only, add one clone engineer mini. Free action, repair one, capacity one. Place one wound token on this card to remove one wound, ion or vehicle damage token from, or restore one mini to a friendly droid or vehicle at range one and in line of sight. So what, I, it came up again the other night, using the engineer that the, the CIS had, because one of your yeah, guys had right. a medical, uh, an engineer droid. With that's them. right. Um, when it says recover one mini, does that mean you could either repair one hit point to a damaged droid decker, or if one droid decker has gone down, it would come back in at full health? It sounds like it. Yeah, that yeah. sounds horrible. I mean, you'd have to time it well. Yeah, you might have wait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can also field a clone comms technician. The clone trooper only, add one clone comms technician mini. You gain a comms upgrade slot. You must equip a comms upgrade card. So it's an extra gun, an extra hit point, and you can take comms upgrades into a squad that can't normally have them. This is a lot of stuff. There's a lot of cards in this box. Portable scanner. You gain take cover one. Spend an action. Choose one friendly unit at range one. That unit gains one dodge token. B1 battle droids can ignore the upgrade slot requirement. Uh, seize the initiative. Discard to use. Commander or operative only. During the issue order step of a command phase, issue an order to yourself. Vigilance. During the end phase, choose either one friendly trooper unit at range 1 to 2, or up to two friendly core trooper units at range 1 to 2. Each chosen unit does not remove one dodge token. Inspiring Presence. Friendly units at range 1 to 4 can use your courage value when checking whether they are panicked. This range can be reduced by other effects. That's a 6 inch boost to your morale. And HQ Uplink. Tap to use during the issue order step of the command phase. Issue an order to yourself. Yeah, we've got a lot of cards there. It's a fantastic utility pack for a it's amazing. Galactic Republic player. Yeah. And then we were big fans of this pack when it came out for the Galactic Civil War. Yeah, so that's, that's, a, real, that's a real buff pack, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And saves a lot of points for pretty booming your force, because I think they're still spending a couple of hundred on some Jedi otherwise. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. That's even better. Yeah. Professionals. Uh, so it's the AAT Trade Federation Battle Tank, the NRN99 Persuader Class Tank Droid, and the Republic uh, Specialist Pack. That was three really good packs. I think. Yes, uh, they're very, very different. And I like, I like the fact that some of the cards in there are usable. Yeah. And, and the, on the whole, it increases um, your deck size for Clone Wars battle set. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so some of them aren't even linked to the time era. Um, this one was obviously it's a tank everyone knows from Phantom mm. Menace because that was that thing was in the trailers from the start. It's a fantastic looking uh, grav tank. Uh, and you can field two of those in the standard 800 point army. If well, you we'd, we'd have to, oh, we have got two. We have got two, yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's um, that the firepower of that thing, mm. and that barrage ability, you could seriously lay down some suppression. I just wonder if you could actually field two of them and one of them. Oh, I'd have to get my calculator. Oh, yeah, no, uh, there's obviously governing rules. So that was a put a command in there. Uh, uh, Troop carrier. Sh- Mm. That's a heavy unit, yeah. Yeah, you can only have two heavy units in a standard eight. Dang! Grand army, go nuts. Yeah, so uh, one of each or two of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and obviously now you can just stick a field commander droid in the tank. Yeah, know. that's really yeah, useful. Yeah, dirt. Yeah. He was yeah. fun as well. Um, I, I think this is very different. It was nice. To, it's a pretty fast moving uh, personnel carrier. Mm. And I love, I didn't see these, you could just have some battle You have, yeah, like in the Second World War, where the guys used to sit on the table. Sit on the table, I think that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to do that. I need some more skills and more contrast paint. We'll that. <laughs> that's uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, these guys, I think, are going to be game changers for the Galactic Republic. Yeah, there's, there's, it doesn't initially feel like there's a lot in the box, but the cards are really useful. Cards are superb, yeah. also, it, again, it's that points bounce thing. At, at the moment, the, the Galactic Republic, the commanders are all Jedi, um, so they're hovering around the 200 point mark, which obviously takes a chunk out of an 800 point build. Mm. Uh, I think, other than that, the cheapest is Captain Rex, and he's still 90. 
He's but, good though, Lex. He's, he's great, yeah. but the ability to take Amanda at 55 points frees up your points for so much extra stuff. Yeah, the more kit goes so you could actually yeah. feel, yeah, if you want to do a more of a military build rather than a, a lightsaber build, mm -hmm. that's one way of doing it. It's just real because a size illustration there. This is <laughs> massive. That might be the biggest mini I've seen for Legion so far, it's apart from our at yeah, I don't think that's kosher, okay, really. Because okay. <laughs> no, the base size is the same size as Republic tank, but I think that's definitely taller. Yes. Uh, yeah. It just looks massive. So that, that's going to... Might reduce some of the terrain down. That's, uh, that's a fantastic. Uh, superb. So, um, AAT tank, two thumbs up, I think. Oh, definitely. Yeah, 999. It's a two thumber. Yeah. Two thumber. Okay, yeah. and we're two thumbs across the board, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you had to pick out one of those, you know, as much as I love the AAT, I think if I had to pick one, I'd go for the NR9 because it's different from what we've seen before. I would go for it because I've been waiting for this one. Yeah, because so, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously it's the one. That, I mean, obviously you see the other one in the films anyway, but yeah. um, it's just. So cool. it, it, it's yeah. really hard when you're sitting there waiting for a particular style. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It must be lovely when it actually comes out. Mm. So uh, that was the NR99, the AAT tank, and the Republic Specialist, but not a Sarge Ventress for Star Wars <laughs> Legion. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. This has been Fire When Ready, a Star Wars themed tabletop punk comedy show for Emotionally14.com. What's Emotionally14? It's a website containing all of your favourite things like Star Wars, tabletop gaming, massive tanks, no Sarge Ventress, all the things you love can be found at Emotionally14.com and you can follow them on all social media channels at Emotionally14. Special thank you to our friends at There Will Be Games for helping us to promote this show. You can find all of their lovely stuff at therewillbe.games and on all social media channels at There Will Be Games. If you'd like to follow the show itself, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Fire When Ready UK. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, I'm on all social media channels at RealBradHB. And Ian, where can people find you? On Instagram and Great Album. Hey! So thanks very much, guys. We'll be back soon with Manny Won't Leave Dave Mustard. Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>